short selling is, is it's an interesting it's an interesting uh, uh, item to study because it's I mean it's ruined a lot of people. Uh, it's it, it is the sort of thing that you can go broke doing. It's tempting. You see way more stocks that are dramatically overvalued in your career than you will see stocks that are dramatically undervalued. I mean, they're, they're, it's the nature of securities markets to occasionally promote various things to the sky so that securities will frequently sell for five or ten times what they're worth and they will very, very seldom sell for 20 percent or 10 percent of what they're worth. So, it, therefore, you see these much greater discrepancies between price and value uh, and on the overvaluation side. So you might think it's easier to make money on short selling. And all I can say is uh, uh, it hasn't been for me. I don't think it's been for Charlie. It is a very, very tough business because of the fact that you face unlimited losses and because of the fact that people that have overvalued stocks, very overvalued stocks, are fre frequently on some scale between promoter and crook. And that's why they get there. The uh there's nothing evil, per se, about, in my view, about selling things short. Uh, I would say that it's a very, very tough way to make a living. It's not only often painful financially, it's very painful uh, emotionally because it, a stock that you sell short, a stock that you buy at 20 can go down 20 points and a stock that you sell short at 20 can go up an infinite amount and you don't think about that until you've gone short and it goes up about 10 or 15 points and then you don't sleep very well. So it's a, it's a very tough way to make a living. Over the years, I probably had 100 ideas of things that should be shorted and I would say that almost every one of them have turned out to be correct and I'll bet if I'd tried to do it and make money out of it, I probably would have lost money. I would have had no fun and the opportunity cost to Charlie say would have been enormous because if somebody's running something that's semi-fraudulent, they're probably pretty good at it and they're working full time at it. And uh, they've succeeded for a while and they may keep succeeding. And if they succeed and you go in at X and it goes to 5X, you know, all you're hoping after a while is that it goes back to X again or something of the sort. It's a, it's a very tough psychological uh, game to play. A few people may be well suited for it. Uh, I would never put any money with a short fund, but not because I would think it would be ethically wrong. I just think that they're unlikely to make money. Um, Charlie, do you have any thoughts on short selling or naked short selling? Well, I think you're absolutely right there in the sense that it's that would be one of the most ir irritating experiences in the world to figure out something is crooked and foolish and so forth and then short it at X and have it go to 3X. Now you're watching all these happy crooks splashing around in your money while you're meeting margin calls. <laughs> why would you want to go inhaling distance of an experience like that? 